Hello everyone, today I would like to compare the landscaping tools of four different GPU-based render software. They are Enscape, Lumion, Twinmotion, and D5 Render. Let's start the comparison. Firstly, I would like to compare on grass and lawn creation tools. To create the grass in Enscape software, we need to select the area and define the material as grass. Then we need to add the grass texture. We can adjust the height and height variation parameters to get desired result. In Lumion, the first thing we need to do is to select the area where we want to add grass. Then we need to change the material type to landscape. After this, we need to turn on the grass button in landscape menu. We can adjust the grass size, grass height and wildness to get desired result. Moreover, we can also scatter some stones and clovers in the grass field by clicking add scatter objects. We can also adjust the size, spread and random size parameters for the scatter objects. We can also define area where we don't want to grow grass by using paint tool with soil material. In this case, the margin is so sharp and it is not so realistic. In Twin Motion, we need to select the paint tool and then go to Library. Under Vegetation category, we can see the grass and flowers presets. We need to click and drag the grass type that we liked to the paint library. We can adjust the diameter of the brush. Then we can paint on the ground surface that we want to grow grass. We can also delete the grass area that we don't want by using eraser tool. The another tool is the scatter tool. Let's try with this small area. We need to click and drag the grass assets to the scatter library. Then select the grass type that you liked and then fill the area with scatter tool. The margin is not well defined, and then we may need to delete some grass by using eraser tool. Let's try the large area with scatter tool. We need to click several times to fill the whole area. After clicking about three times, my PC becomes slow. And it takes so long to fill the large area. In D5 Render, there are several methods to fill the area with grass. The first method is using Grass Material Template. We just need to change the material type to grass. This will automatically change into grass field quickly. Look at this. How D5 Render can handle the large area with realistic grass. Moreover, we can change the type of grass. There are six different grass types. We can also adjust the height, density and trim parameters to get the desired result. The second method is using the brush tool. To do this we need to select the brush tool, then select the desired grass assets from the assets library. We can make fine adjustments on brush size, density and grass size. We can also adjust the random size to get more realistic results. Then we just need to paint over the ground area that we want to grow grass easily. We can also erase the grass by using eraser tool or by pressing ALT key. In this way, we can create the customed grass areas easily and quickly. The third method is using scatter tool. We need to select the scatter tool. Then we need to select the grass asset that we want. And then we just need to fill the area with scatter tool. This will fill the grass to the large area without slowing down your PC. Moreover, we can delete the unwanted area by using Eraser tool. Let's try with this small area. We can see how D5 Scatter tool fill the grass neatly and tidily. There is amazing preset for grass and lawn in the Scatter library. We just need to choose the preset that we like and then click the ground and click Create. This will fill the large area with this preset without slowing down your PC. Let's try with one more preset to this small area. We just need to choose the preset we liked and then click the area we want to fill. After clicking Create button, the area is filled with this preset. 
We can also adjust the orientation by adjusting the related parameters. Let's move on landscaping tools. In Enscape, there are only three selection tools for the mass placement of trees and plants. The first one is the rectangular selection tool. We need to define the starting and ending point first. We can define the area by adjusting the width parameter. Then select the trees that we want to grow in this area. At first, it will show the proxy trees. We can also adjust the density and distribution pattern. In this case, I choose random distribution. We can change the distribution pattern by clicking Regenerate button. If we want to see the final result, we need to check the preview selected area. If we like the result, we need to click the Confirm placement and then need to click Apply Changes. We can delete or move the trees by selecting the tree. After editing, we need to click the Apply Changes button again. The second one is the Circular Selection tool. We need to define the area by defining the radius of the circle. The rest are same as Rectangular Selection tool. The last one is Bucket Selection tool. We need to select the Bucket Selection tool first and then fill the area that we want to scatter trees and plants. We can adjust the density and distribution type. Then check the preview selected area to preview the final result. If we like the result, we need to click the Confirm placement and then need to click Apply Changes. Let's try to this small area. There is some edge filling problem. We may need to move manually and apply changes again. In Lumion, there are three tools to scatter trees and plants. The first one is the mass placement. We need to add some trees to mass placement library first. Then we need to define the area by drawing a path. We can adjust the number of items to get the desired density. We can also adjust the direction, random direction, random spacing, and random offset to get the desired result. But there is no random size parameter. This parameter is important to get realistic effect. We need to click the confirm button to confirm the result. After that, we can't adjust the parameters again. The second one is the cluster placement tool. By using this tool, we can scatter only one type of tree as a cluster. If we want to scatter other type of tree, we need to reselect the different tree and need to place again. The third one is the paint placement tool. We need to select a tree first, adjust the density and paint on the ground to scatter. But this only scatter the single type of tree. If we want to scatter other type of tree, we need to reselect the different tree and need to paint again. We can also delete the unwanted trees by painting using delete tool. There are some tree clusters in the library to fill large area. Most of them are 2D trees and not so realistic. For the small area like this, it is very difficult to fill by using the above tools, except mass placement and manual placement. In Twinmotion, the first tool is Paint Tool. We need to select the Paint Tool and need to add some trees to Paint Library. Then, we need to adjust the diameter and paint on the surface where we want to grow the trees. After that, we can adjust the parameters for each type of tree. For example, density and age. However, there is no parameter for random size. This parameter is important to get realistic effect. The second tool is the scatter tool. We need to select the scatter tool and need to add some trees to scatter library. Then, we need to select the trees and then need to click the ground by using scatter tool with plus icon. We can click several times to get desired density. After that, we can adjust the age parameter for each type of tree. We can reduce the density by clicking the ground while using scatter tool with minus icon. There is also an eraser tool to delete the unwanted trees. Let's try this area with scatter tool. It is not fit well. We may need to delete some objects to get better result. The third tool is the spacing tool. To use this, we need to select the spacing tool and draw the path where we want to grow the trees. Then we can add assets from the library. We can adjust the path tension, random lateral offset, and count parameters. 
There are some parameters for each object. In these settings, we can adjust the scale, random scale, random offset, and random rotation. There are more parameters like snap to surface and align. The fourth tool is area tool. We need to select this tool and need to define the area where we want to grow vegetations. Each arrow represents a tree. We need to add the trees to the area library. We can adjust some parameters, for example, spacing, random spacing and probability. We can edit the area every time when we want to change. This tool can be used to fill large areas. In D5 Render, the first tool is Path Tool. We need to select the Path Tool, then we need to add some plants from the library and draw a path. We can also add and subtract the plants. We can adjust the number parameter to increase the number of plants. Moreover, there are so many parameters to adjust to get more realistic. For example, Direction, Random Direction, Random Spacing, Random Offset, Size, and random size parameters. We can edit the path anytime when we want to change. We can not only move the whole path, but also copy the path easily. The second tool is scatter tool. We need to select the scatter tool first, then need to add some plants to the scatter library. In this case, I already added the plants. Then we just need to click the ground where we want to grow trees. We can delete the unwanted trees by using the eraser tool. The third tool is the brush tool. We can not only scatter trees, but also scatter other nature assets. In this case, we will try to scatter some rocks and stones. So we need to add the rocks and stones to the brush library. We can adjust the parameters before painting. For example, radius, density, size, random size. Then we need to paint on the desired area. We can delete the unwanted area by pressing Alt key. The fourth tool is Add Scatter Tool. This tool has a lot of amazing features. We need to select the Add Scatter Tool and then choose Select Material. Then we need to select the ground area and click Create. We can divide the scatter area by clicking Image Divide. Then we can select the color maps from Preset Library. Each color represents an area on the scatter area. We can define the number of divisions. In this case, we will divide the area to five different zones. We can preview the area by selecting the sub area. Let's fill some plants to this sub area. We can add one or more assets from the nature library. Let's try with one tree type first. At first, this will fill the sub area with the trees we selected. There are so many parameters to customize. The first one is the distribution map we can change the distribution pattern as we want. There are so many distribution map presets. The white area represents the trees area and the black represent the empty area. We can also adjust the density. This represent how many trees are scattered within 100 squared meters. We can increase or decrease the density as we want. In transformations category, there are three main parameters. They are random scaling, random rotation, and random offset. By default, they all are on. If we turn off them, all the trees will be the same size, shape, and spacing. We will get unrealistic result. It is better to turn on. We can control the overall size, rotation, and spacing easily. We can click the dice icon to get variations of tree arrangement. The distribution and transformation parameters control all types of trees in the sub-area. If we want to edit each type of tree, we can expand the parameters from Content Panel by clicking Corresponding Tree. We can control the generating direction to be vertical or along the normal. Let's add some different trees. We can adjust the size of each type of tree by controlling the scaling parameter. We can also define the occurrence ratio of each type by adjusting probability of occurrence parameter. This will change the percentage of occurrence of each type of tree. Let's fill this area with lawn. We can use content preset by clicking this icon. 
We just need to click the content preset that we like. This will fill the sub area with this content preset. We can change the distribution pattern by changing the distribution map. We can adjust the map scale by changing the stretch value. Now the edge is too sharp. We can change the distribution map that is more blur than the previous one. This will solve the sharp margin problem. Look at the result. It becomes more realistic. We can also decrease the density if it is too much. We can also subdivide this sub area by clicking image divide. Then we can easily management this sub areas as described above. In this way, we can scatter more trees and plants easily. Moreover, we can edit the tree by double clicking the tree. This will detach the tree from the scatter group and we can easily delete or edit. Let's try add scatter tool to this small area. This time we will fill with some aquatic plants. We can see how plants are fitted well to this small area. Let's try to change the distribution map. It still fitted well. There are more impressive presets in D5 Render. They are scatter preset for forest and we can find them on scatter library. We need to select the preset and click the mountain that we want to make forest. Then we just need to click create. This will change the whole mountain to forest with realistic trees. Thanks for watching the tutorial. We can now see the power of landscaping tools of each GPU based render software. Please write down a comment which one do you like most. Have a nice day.